Hello, and welcome to the Composting at Home video, provided by the Solid Waste Agency of Northern Cook County, or SWANK. I am Mary Allen, SWANK's Recycling and Education Director, and will explain the basic do's and don'ts of backyard composting. Composting is scientific, but not rocket science. Anyone can compost with a set of basic guidelines. In this video, you will learn about what materials to put into a compost bin, the types of composting bins available, as well as the environmental benefits of the process. All materials used in a compost bin are organic waste. Organic waste is comprised of two main categories. The first is landscape waste, such as grass clippings, leaves, plant and flower trimmings, and small branches. The second is food waste from plant sources, such as fruits and vegetables. Other food waste, such as coffee and tea grounds, eggshells, and breads are also permitted. However, not all foods are allowed in a backyard compost bin. According to the United States Environmental Protection Agency, or the US EPA, organics make up about 27% of the waste that residents generate, and food waste is approximately 13% of this amount. All organic waste can be recycled through composting, which is a process by which organic material decomposes. The end product is a nutrient-rich soil amendment called humus that can be used in gardening, landscaping, and soil improvement projects. Since 1990, landscape waste in Illinois has been banned from landfills and is collected separately from garbage and is composted while food waste is either landfilled or disposed down the drain. Recycling food scraps is the next step to decreasing municipal solid waste volumes. By composting food scraps, residents can reduce the amount of garbage that goes to the landfill, which in turn reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Provide a valuable product to enrich soil for landscaping and gardening projects and reduce the need for water, chemical fertilizers, and pesticides for yards and lawns. Swank encourages residents to maintain a backyard compost bin. The first step is to check with your community for guidelines. Once you have this information, it is time to get started. According to the US EPA guidelines, composting requires three basic ingredients, greens, materials that are rich in nitrogen, such as grass clippings, vegetable and fruit scraps, and coffee grounds. Browns, materials that are rich in carbon, such as leaves or shredded paper, branches and twigs, and water to help accelerate the decomposition process. A detailed list of acceptable and unacceptable materials is provided at the end of this video and can be downloaded in a PDF file at swank.org. Pending the size of your yard and the amount of time you want to put into this project, there are a variety of bins to build or purchase. Single bins or enclosed tumblers are good for small yards and typically need less tending while multiple unit bins are good for larger yards because they have a greater capacity but require more time. There are different methods of composting that are provided in the supplemental resources listed at the end of this video, but here is a basic approach to a three to six month finished compost using an aerobic process with air, moisture, and heat. Having the right amount of greens, browns, and water is important for compost development. Ideally, the pile should have equal amounts of greens and browns to begin with, with alternating layers of organic materials of different sizes. A handful of garden soil or finished compost can be added to the mix and large pieces should be cut up. Food scraps should be buried under the compost material and the pile should be moist, not wet. Materials need to be layered as they are added and piles should be turned once a week with a pitchfork to distribute air and moisture. The moisture content must be maintained at all times. Continue this process until the pile does not reheat much after turning. A finished compost pile will be cool to the touch and at least half of the original volume. Let the compost pile idle for at least two weeks before using. 
If there are large pieces like branches, you can pick them out and throw them back in the bin. I hope that this video has shown you that composting is neither complicated nor difficult. My goal is to provide you with some useful tips to make your backyard composting efforts successful. Thank you for doing your part to reduce waste, improve the quality of your soil, and be a better steward of our environment. Should you have questions or need further assistance, the following websites offer resources and support. Mm -hmm.